Hey, hi everybody, it's Sarah. Today's video will be about the Aries 2022 Astrology and Horoscope. This is my predictions using astrology and also intuitive energy to chart your course for 2022 Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Aries natives. I'm going to put some information up here on the screen about Aries, but we're really not going to talk much about you. We're going to talk more about 2022 and how it's going to affect you. If you want to know more about Aries, the individual, what makes them tick, what they like, what they don't like, what their element is, what their lucky numbers are and such, let me know in the comment section below and I'll create a video about that. But I wanted to get this one out because there's some dynamic changes happening for you in 2022, Aries. And of course, this is my take on the astrology and because of this, it may not resonate with everyone. And that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries. Just pass it on by and I do hope you find what you're looking for. I usually record videos on this channel under astrology and the tarot, spiritual messages, occasionally I tell a ghost story, just a little bit of uh, of fun stuff here. I also have another channel, Sarah Parker Thomas, if you want more spiritual lessons. This is going to be an interesting year for you and also I try and do and in the word is try here. I try and do a monthly forecast and sometimes even a weekly forecast. And also I try and do bigger planetary alignments like Mercury retrograde, when Jupiter moves, when Venus goes retrograde, that kind of stuff as well. So if that's something you're interested in, why not subscribe now? Okay, in this video, Aries, we're going to look at your overall health, your wealth, your career, love for single and partnered Aries natives, your spirituality sector, and of course, travel for the year of 2022. So first of all, congratulations for making it to 2022, Aries. You've had some major life lessons happen since uh, 2018, 2019, and they're still, they're still working on you. But guess what? Things are going to start slowing down in 2022, and life starts coming together for you in a really new and exciting way. Jupiter and Saturn will be a major and overall positive effect on you in 2022. I'm going to put some major dates up here and other info on the screen now, but there will be videos covering these events as we get further into 2022. So overall, I would say improvement on all levels are likely, Aries. I mean, it's going to be that kind of year. It's going to be a really good year for you. So let's look at your health sector. In 2022, you feel more robust, more active. You're more likely to say yes than no to those adventures. Your health will be in a good place for most of the year and you feel more like your old self, the younger you who love to explore new places, try new sports, and generally live life to the fullest. You remember that person, right? You're going to feel more like that in 2022. The only real issues I see are around April the 13th. You could face some digestive or stomach issues. Anywhere in that week, it's likely that you're probably going to overindulge. This is a sign to not overindulge, obviously, and try and eat cleaner and um, keep an eye on digestive issues. But overall in 2022, you're going to be taking better care of yourself. You're going to be focusing more attention on your well-being. And because of that, you will be healthier. Instead of just saying you're going to go to the gym and picking up a membership, you're actually going to go and you're going to enjoy it. This new health mindset will also trigger a spiritual ascension for you too. But that, we'll talk more about that under the spiritual section. And if you want to jump ahead, I did divide this information into chapters. Just look in the description box below under timestamp and you can jump ahead. But yeah, your attitude will definitely shift regarding your body. Self-care doesn't seem silly now or insignificant or a bother. You begin to regard your body with more kindness and patience and you understand its needs now and you're willing to make room for them. You're ready to make self-care a priority. In 2022, you are more likely to go on a wellness retreat or vacation than an extreme sports weekend. Now, that's not to say you can't do both because you can, and it's likely you probably will. But what I'm saying is instead of going for the adventure and saying, you know, who, who needs yoga? Who, who cares about meditation? You're going to be more likely to seek it out to stay balanced. And when you do, everything just falls into place. You're going to be really busy in 2022, and that's why you're going to really know the power of self 
self-care. To avoid small accidents in the winter, it's important that you slow down and use care in the ice and snow. Whether you're walking, skating, skiing, whatever, use care. If you are planning a ski trip, don't begin at the highest peak. Rather, work your way up, especially if it's been a while since you were on skis. Those who are struggling with arthritis should follow the advice of their MD and specialist. It doesn't do any good to go see them, to get the prescription, and not listen to their advice and not take the meds as they recommend. Overall, your health looks very good for 2022. As I say, you get back some of that robust health that Aries is known for, where you're more likely to say yes than no to adventure. So it's going to be a major shift for you, feeling good and wanting to go do stuff. So that takes us to your love life. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, Aries, you might want to sit down and get a cup of tea or a shot of whiskey for this. The first few weeks of 2022 will bring a meaningful shift in all long-term relationships. So Aries, watch out for lovers from the past to suddenly reappear in your life and openly discuss regrets, disappointments, or emotional decisions that they made that stop them from confessing to you or stop them from chasing you. Probably going to be blindsided by these confessions of love from someone, you know, that either you thought, well, it was over and done with 10 years ago. Why are you here? Or someone that you consider just to be a good friend. You had no idea that they were madly in love with you. Well, guess what? They are. And they're telling you about it. So you may find yourself in quite the pickle with that. But I mean, you know what to do and you know how you feel. So if it doesn't feel like you should move from friendship into something else, and you may also find yourself being pushed to define your own vague affairs that you've had because other people are now becoming much more attached to you, and they're wanting more of your time. They're wanting a, a real relationship. And once again, you know what to do. I mean, if it if it's something you want to pursue, then pursue it. And if not, just be honest with them. Yeah, we have that at the beginning of the year. Single Aries, May 19th through the 29th is a great time for love to enter your life. So this is actually the best time of the year to meet someone special. And by that, I mean a long-term relationship with a compatible partner. Mark your calendar because it's a great time to mingle, to update your online dating profile, and meet new and interesting interesting people. And that's the thing. You'll know. You'll know that this is somebody intriguing. This is somebody who checks all the boxes, who's interesting, who wants to go out and do things, who has a job, you know, all of those things that, mm, you know, you really wanted in a relationship partner, but you've kind of had to settle. Okay, the days of settling are over. The days of being treated less than what you deserve, they're over. They're over. My single Aries friends, we're not doing that ever again, okay? If you don't meet someone during during that time period, that's okay. Because guess what? This is a cycle. This is just the beginning of a cycle. On June the 19th through July 6th, we also see you dating and having a great time out in the world. You're more self-confident, you're more assertive, and no more settling for crumbs, Aries. You're out, you're kicking up your heels, you're having fun, and you're the center of attention. So if love doesn't find you in May, It may in June or July. And if it doesn't find you then, it's still a cycle. Really quick, let me let me address a concern for partnered Aries. Around March the 6th, Venus enters Aquarius, helping you make your romantic relationships flow smoother and also become more passionate. If you've been having problems with your spouse or partner because things have been kind of stagnant because you've been working so much, you can see things shift then. You're also more likely to show your partner your feelings by surprising them with experiences rather them material gifts. So if they have a birthday during that time, let them know. This alignment will hit you full force and you're going to feel much more compassionate towards your partner. This won't last though. (laughs) This enthusiasm will taper off when Venus enters Taurus on May the 28th. So make the most of it. If you're in a semi-committed relationship and you're thinking about taking the relationship to the next level, whether that is moving in together or proposing, the best time to do so would be between September the 29th and October the 22nd when Venus is in Libra. It's likely that you're going to be successful if you do it any other time. Yes, it's still likely, but this is the golden period to do that. If you're apprehensive, then wait until that time. This alignment can also signal a marriage or a pregnancy to Aries. So if you're newly married and don't have children yet, then 2020 is a great year to become pregnant. And any pregnancy conceived this year is likely to go very well for Aries women. 2022 is all about love for you. It's all about connecting. It's all about reinforcing 
relationships and connections and suitors fall from the sky. I mean, people come from the past and not just during Mercury retrograde. It's going to be all year long. You're going to find acquaintances or someone that you worked with or someone you went to elementary school with who had this crush on you and who has been maybe following you online but doesn't really talk to you coming forward and declaring themselves. Single Aries is not going to be wanting for, for somebody to hang out with or date. The people are going to be there. So overall, yes, a very good year for love. So let's look at your career. Can you have love and money and a successful career? We know that your health is going to be good. So let's look. In 2022, Aries, you can expect new responsibilities that turn into new possibilities. Home-based businesses are conceived, started, or expanded in 2022. But it's wise to continue in your current career field all year long. Don't quit. Even though your side business may be doing well, don't quit just yet. Keep working on both. So yes, start that side hustle. If you've been meaning to, this is a great year to get the foundation set up and to, to see some success with it as well. But don't quit yet. Near the beginning of the year, you will see success in business and it will only get better from there. But it's not the year to change careers, as I said, so stay in your lane and get to know your co-workers better. Build team rapport and watch your success grow even more. You're stepping into your own Aries as a leader, as someone that people want to seek advice from, people want to follow. Step into that role. I know you've not always been comfortable with it. You're great at making decisions under stress and you're great at moving people along, but you didn't really want the responsibility of deadlines and being a team leader. You didn't really want that. But now in 2022, you can see that you're pretty much doing everything anyway. So you might as well just go ahead and get the title, a little bit more paperwork and that big raise. Say yes. Manifesting through words and images are favored in this year. So use your creative ability to dream big. This is a great year to work on a vision board. This is a great year to start working with affirmations as well. I have lots of affirmations up on this channel. I have a whole playlist too if you want to look at those. What happens in the summer? From June 19th to July 6th, your success starts taking on a new flavor. You're getting new responsibilities, you're getting new projects at work, and people are noticing your improved work ethic. You're building towards long-term success in the summer. Yes, you're working, but you're not working as hard as you've been in, say, 2021. So you can take off the weekend. You're not working overtime every day. November the 25th through March 12th, 2023. So we're looking way out here. Here's a sneak peek. We see that that steady progress, that steady work has started paying off. You're feeling good. You're working more, but you're reaping the benefits as well. So it doesn't really feel like you're working more because it doesn't feel as stressful. Success leads to more opportunities than you ever imagined. Dream now. Start writing down what you want to happen, which way you want your career to go, what you would like to to do because chances are good when you visit this video again in say December of 2022, you might see that you're that much closer to them or maybe you've even passed them. So it's going to be a fantastic year for your career, Aries. So we've got health, we've got love, and we've got career success. Wow, what a year. All right, so let's look at the finances. Career success doesn't always equate money though. This is a lucky year for earning money, but a bad year for spending money. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. And like most fire signs, Aries, you haven't built up much of a savings in the previous years and partly because the money just wasn't coming in. So it's really hard to save something that isn't there. But by April, we'll see you begin a new savings plan and a new investment plan. Jupiter is lending a hand. Good deals are falling in your lap. This will bring luck when making large purchases. So it is quite possible that you buy a new vehicle or take out a mortgage. However, this doesn't mean it's a great time to spend money you can't afford to lose or set yourself up in debt that you can't afford to pay out. It may be a once in a lifetime deal with that car or with that new home, but you've got to have some savings. You've got to have some cushion. So begin now. Even just a little bit of money stashed away will definitely help this come forward. This is also not a year to loan money to family. If you're going to help out family, don't make it a loan, just make it a gift because you're not going to get the money back. So don't give them anything that's going to financially hurt you or cripple you. So we see by late summer, slow but steady progress with the finances and with the investment is paying off. You're now focused on long-term investments for profit. So instead of just doing the minimal, you're looking at the bigger picture, the investments making money and paying off. 
However, take care not to get greedy, okay, or overconfident. Yes, you are making money, but during Jupiter retrograde, which is from July the 29th to November the 3rd, this could cause you to lose some friends by bragging about your ability to invest and save money and what a whiz you are at cryptocurrency. Yeah, they don't want to hear it because they were not as successful as you are. Because your investments have been solid so far doesn't mean, though, that they can't falter. Keep that in mind. Don't invest anything you can't afford to lose. I don't don't see any big losses coming up, but when you start moving over to that karma of being greedy, things change. Stay calm when it comes to investing. Short investments here and there that you can afford and they should grow. They should grow exponentially over the course of 2022. You should have that the money for a down payment on that house, but you have to make an effort to save the money and to invest it. But also don't invest anything you can't afford to lose because the market will go up and down in 2022. And depending on when that falls in your lap, it may be a downtime. So overall, the money's coming. So let's look at your family. I didn't even say we were going to look at this, did I? We were just going to do travel next. But I think that it's going to be important for your, your mental health, your physical health, and your spiritual health to spend more time with your family in 2022. It's likely that in the past couple of years, you've been distracted with other areas of your life, namely your career. You hit the ground running in 2021, and you tried to work as much as you could. And you worked in 2020 as well. But you really focused on trying to provide for your family in 2021 and unfortunately that took you away from them and even when you were at home you weren't present because you were working. I think it's wise in 2022 to make an effort to spend time with them and then you'll feel more balanced and at peace. This will make your home life more enjoyable and this will make the vacations even more fun. So this is a great year to focus on children, relatives, extended family members and also friends that we consider family for you Aries. They add to your general enjoyment of life. Let's look at travel. This is a great year for traveling, both for business and pleasure, dear Aries. Woohoo! Start budgeting for all those trips now. At the beginning of the year, domestic travel is favored over international travel. If you have to leave the country, then I would say do it after April for the best results. There are going to be some more restrictions and there's going to be some up and down things happening with, with travel too. But overall, it's not going to bother you. You'll be fine. June 2022 is a great time to take a vacation, a road trip, go out camping with your family, and just likely broaden your circle, meet new people, and have those experiences that you've, you've been longing for the last five years, really. Go out and enjoy life again. Spiritual, and then I'm going to sum it up because this is getting a little bit long, isn't it? And it's just more good news on top of more good news. It's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, the spiritual outlook for you in 2022 Aries is growth, mainly from May the 8th to November the 3rd. Jupiter brings new adventures which will expand your horizons and broaden your outlook on life. So this is a year where you will become more focused on self-care, and because of that, you will create more space to work on your spiritual sector. And it's something that, I mean, you don't have it shut off, but it's not the most important thing to you. It's kind of like self-care has been in the past. There are times Times when you did self-care and you felt better, but it wasn't top of the priority list. And I think that will change. You're going to get more serious about that. Then you're going to become more dedicated to the spiritual side of things. Overall, you couldn't ask for a better year. We have a really good chance of you starting a family if you don't already have one or adding to your family. We see you with great career success. We see you healthy, except for some digestive issues, which, you know, when you overindulge, it's, it's something that happens. And we see spiritual growth as well. So it's going to be a fabulous year. But you know what, Aries? You're due a good year, okay? You're due this. You so deserve it. And so I want you to enjoy yourself and have an amazing year, Aries. Let me know what you think about this forecast in the comment section below. Success is the end result of all your hard work, Aries. This is an overall year of positive self-achievement, positive self-growth. You're in the spotlight for most of 2022. You're making much needed changes in your world, and you're putting many of the lessons you've learned in the past couple of years into practice. The tools that you've picked up over the last two to three years are now something that you're going to incorporate in your life, and it's no longer just an option. Self-care, investing, or saving, 
thing is not just an option. You know it's something that you need to take care of and you're ready. You're ready to do it. There's going to be three lunar eclipses which will bring significant emotional lessons and they fall in your communication and family sectors in May and June. Home-centered movement in the summer and steamy passion and there's no lack of energy in the passion department either and there's no way that you're going to be bored in 2022. <laughs> So overall, this looks like an amazing year for you. Positive growth, Aries, congratulations. You definitely deserve this. If you would like to know more, you can email me. I'll put my email address up here and also in the description box below. And you can email me for a personal reading if you would like to get more in depth on how this is gonna affect you. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section below and consider becoming a patron. This video was made possible because of the patrons. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.